What's going on YouTube? I'm Slick, that's Slick Jackson, and if you're looking for the coolest, grooviest content on the side, well, you've come to the right place. So, I'm recording this video right now, and I won't lie, I'm feeling like a fink. I made a video like yesterday titled, Hashtag Justice for Ackman was a waste of time, and I made that video at the time I did, because by all means, I thought there wasn't anything more to the situation. It was done, over, left to rot, and I figured all that was left for me to do was pick at its corpse like the vulture I am. Damn. Well, literally just one day after I upload that video, the act man has his monetization reinstated. And I'm like, talk about timing. I mean, seriously, the literal day after I make a video on a topic that I thought was dead in the water suddenly springs back to life. Just my luck, I'm telling you. So yeah, you've probably heard by now that the act man has officially gotten his channel remonetized. He was initially kicked from the partner program because during the whole act man versus quantum debacle, he made a joke about doxing YouTube employees and creators. I am excited to announce a new series of videos I'll be making on YouTube called Doxing Adventures with Act Man. In it, I'll be doxing and harassing family members of YouTube employees and other content creators. It sure to have lots of family fun, ha ha ha. With YouTube's new policy changes that allow doxing and invasion of privacy, I am fully allowed to make these videos. Please stay tuned for this new generation of advertiser friendly content. And to restate my position on YouTube's choice to do this, I will say that they shouldn't have demonetized the act man over this tweet. This was an obvious joke made to poke fun at the fact that YouTube refused to ban Quantum TV despite the fact that he literally tracked the act man's phone number and could very well pose a threat to his safety, not to mention other creators on the side. Basically, this tweet was obviously a joke, but YouTube took it as a full-on threat. And while I will say that they overreacted, at the end of the day, the act man should have seen it coming. These corporate bigwigs have no sense of humor. They were obviously gonna interpret this as a threat. I don't know why he thought he could get away with making a joke like that. Of course, None of that matters now because, again, he's been re-inducted into the YouTube Partner Program and he can monetize his videos again. And, for what it's worth, I'm happy for the guy. Uh, personally, I don't like his content and, frankly, I don't like the way that he handled the situation, but I'm glad he can get back to his livelihood. I'm not sure if there's too much to say other than that. Now, as far as whether or not this changes my initial opinion on the whole Quantum Viac Man thing, I will say I stand by the opinion that it was a total and complete waste of time. Yes, the act man got remonetized, but that's not really an accomplishment. All he did was break even. To give you an analogy, it's like falling down a hole and climbing back out of it. You didn't really accomplish anything, you just got yourself out of a situation that could have been avoided entirely had you been a little smarter. Plus, at the end of the day, Quantum TV is still at large, and from what I'm hearing, he's apparently still false DMCA claiming videos, as a YouTuber named Rebzion claims to have gotten a claim put on his channel by him. So, the act man's main goal, which was to get Quantum TV banned, as far as I'm concerned, completely failed. And I doubt that he'll get banned anytime soon. I mean, it's possible, don't get me wrong. I just don't think there's a very big chance of it happening. But if he's gonna insist on false copyright claiming videos, who knows, YouTube might get fed up and ban the guy. We can only hope, right? But again, I don't really see it happening, and frankly, I think the act man actually did more to damage any chances of YouTube banning this guy. I brought this up in my previous video, but the act man's documentary on Quantum TV was actually filled with a lot of errors and misinformation. I won't go into detail about that, as I pretty much explained it in my previous video, although I would recommend giving Willie Max video a watch on it if you really want to see the full picture. It's very well made, and I think you'll learn a thing or two. But yeah, the copyright abuse featuring Quantum Quantum TV video was arguably harmful to Ackman's case because when you're using faulty evidence to make your case as to why someone should get banned, well, you make your position a lot weaker. And I think that's a damn shame because the Ackman had a chance to do something here. There's a chance he could have made the platform a better place by getting Quantum banned and maybe even getting YouTube to redo the copyright system, but he took so many unneeded risks that frankly didn't even need to be taken and it obviously didn't pay off. And I still stand by my opinion that the guy's a hypocrite who can't stand by what he says. Again, I bring up the confrontation involving Tommy C. Now, Tommy C is someone who was very critical of the Act Man, and that obviously got under Act Man's skin, because when Tommy C used a clip of J Station in one of his videos, I don't know if she's gonna pick up- Hello? Hello, is this Ant Man's mom? Who's calling? What up, bitch? He had this to say. While hilarious, unfortunately, now Tommy C has uploaded content from a user with a previous restriction, and therefore YouTube is well within their rights to take action against him 
and this video. Congratulations, you played yourself. So this is someone who claims to be fighting against YouTube's unfair policies and rules while applauding those very policies and rules when they can seemingly ban someone that he doesn't like. I'm sorry, but I can't stand with someone like that. If you can't stand by your own principles, don't expect me to stand with you. So again, I reiterate, I'm glad that the act man got remonetized. As much as I personally don't like him that much, I don't think he should have ever been demonetized in the first place. However, I stand by my reasoning that hashtag Justice for Act Man accomplished very little, if anything at all, and in fact, probably did more to harm, but that's all I've got for this shtick. Now, you guys do old Jack your favor and keep it groovy. Thank you. Thank you very much.